An EPA study of even the most moderate global warming legislation will cost us between, between $400 billion and $1.2 trillion every year by the middle of the century. And it will essentially do nothing. Great, huh? Take a quick look at the projected CO2 levels. Red line that you'll see on this graph peeking out at the top is what we, you know, what we have if we do nothing at all. But if we spend trillions of dollars, we can get all the way to the other lines. You might say, wait, they look an awful lot like just one line which is kind of the point. There is more global warming news out today uh, and their relation to hurricanes. USA Today says that it's part of a contentious scientific debate over how man-made global warming may affect the intensity and number of hurricanes. First I thought, wait a minute, debate? I swear I've heard environmentalists tell me, I don't know, a million or trillion times. There is no debate. But here's what Al Gore writes in his book, The Inconvenient Truth. Quote, brand new evidence is causing some scientists to assert that global warming is even leading to an increased frequency of hurricanes, end quote. This is the way Al Gore does it. On one hand, he throws in the qualifier, some scientists say, but on the other, he puts a giant killer hurricane coming out of a smokestack on his movie poster. The uh, new research indicates that global warming actually may cause less hurricanes to hit the U.S. Quoting the article, Researchers link warming waters, especially in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, to increase vertical wind shear in the Atlantic Ocean near the U.S. Wind shear, a change in wind or speed direction, makes it hard for hurricanes to form, strengthen, and stay alive. That's a quote. The headline of the story translates all of that. Quote, climate change could cut hurricanes, end quote. More global warming might mean less hurricanes. Amazing. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that we should try to warm the globe as much as possible, but with so much new information coming out, maybe we should be careful not to cause more problems than we solve. That's what I talk about in the first chapter of my book, An Inconvenient Book, and I want you to read some of it on your own for free tomorrow. I'm going to, for the first time tomorrow, send you a taste of the global warming chapter in full color, and you can check it out for yourself free of charge. Just go to glenbeck.com, sign up for my free newsletter, and I'll send it out to you tomorrow. It will be in your email box. From New York, which will soon be underwater, I hear. Good night, America.